let's have some examples in motion problems. A 40 newton load is being pulled across the ice on a sled. The total mass including the sled being 35 kilograms. Under the assumption that the resistance offered by the ice to the runners is negligible. So there is, there is no frictional forces between the object and the surface. And the air offers a resistance in newtons equal to seven times the velocity, which is in meter per second of the sled. Find the distance or find the velocity and the distance traveled no, at the end of five seconds. Okay. Now the impending motion is to is to the right and the force the resisting force which is the friction should be directed opposite no but in this case this is equal to zero stated that the surface is smooth and then the air resistance should also directed no opposite to the impending motion this is the impending motion and it is stated that it is seven times the velocity so if v is the no uh, if v is the velocity then the air resistance is seven times v applying the newton's second newton's law of motion the unbalanced force should be equal to mass times acceleration so the forces are the unbalanced forces are along the x axis so we only consider all the x components so you have p so we'll take this as positive we'll take this as your positive x no? so p is positive f is negative but this is one this this one is zero and then the the air resistance is also negative mass since we need to get the velocity so we we replace the acceleration by dv over dt so we are given this is 40 so 40 and then seven times the velocity it's this is given and then the mass is 35 so dv over dt so this is variable separable okay so you can you can have uh, dv dv uh, over 40 minus 3v and then on the right hand side you have 35 dt oh no 1 over 35 dt okay and then we integrate both sides and simplify the equation will give you 40 minus 7v equals ce to the negative t over 5 and at t equals 0 the velocity initially is 0 and substituting here this is 0 e to the 0 is 1 that gives you c equals 40 so this is your v as a function of time continue at t equals 5 you now we substitute here that gives you 3.61 meter per second and to solve for the distance we replace the velocity from here this is your v as a function of time so replace v by ds over dt 
this is variable separable now we can integrate okay ds which is s and then on the right hand side is a function of time t now we can integrate so for 40 over 7 t and then negative 40 over 7 you have a correction factor of negative 5 here okay plus t but when t is equal to 0 so everything here will be 0 and then s is equal to 0 no? you, you solve c to be negative 200 over 7 and then at t equals 5 we substitute here so, S is equal to 40, okay, over, of, um, 40 over 7 times 5, okay, and then 40 over 7, times negative 5 and then e to the negative 1 here when t is 5 here so you get negative 1 and then plus negative 200 this is your c Okay, and then compute that you should get 10.5 meters.